Hi, friend friends. We have come to the end of our Paris trip, so I thought I would do a little Paris luxury shopping haul for you guys. Now, just a quick disclaimer: I will be doing a separate Hermes shopping haul video, and that will be out next for you, friend friends. I also thought it might be helpful if I chat about the tax refund process. It's called the VAT. Refund. Just in case any of you may be coming to Paris or Europe and want to get a bang for your buck. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Maystar, and I do videos about luxury fashion, travel, lifestyle, and sometimes I do daily vlogs about my life as a musician with a special feature from my tiny Chihuahua Peekaboo. As you may know, prior to arriving in Paris, Mike and I decided to spend a day at the La Vallée outlet shopping mall. I think that's about an hour away from central Paris. I just wanted to see what's Sort of bargains I could get, and let me tell you, I did get some bargains. Let's start with the first thing I purchased at La Vallée, which is in this Prada bag. So the Prada store at the outlet mall was pretty good, I would have to say. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it. The first thing I bought was a Prada grey hoodie. This is the Prada grey hoodie that I purchased. It is so understated with that little grey mal triangle. And a little Prada branding on top. I have actually worn this so much already. I wore this all around Paris when it was slightly warmer, and I will be wearing it a lot when I get back home as well. As you can see, it's a cropped hoodie, which I think suits my style a lot. And I know you can't really see it from here, but the quality of this is so fantastic. Now, Mike and I did go back to La Vallée. I would say three days ago, just to see if they would have any new stock, because Mike really wanted to buy a Prada nylon vest. Unfortunately, we didn't find the vest in his size, but I did find the matching pants to my hoodie, so I decided to get it. This is the matching pants to my hoodie. Same sort of understated triangle logo with the Prada branding on top. I went for an extra large in this one. And the hoodie was actually a size small, but you know me, I do like my pants quite baggy. So the extra large was super comfy, and I knew that if I didn't get the matching pants, I would regret it. Now let me see what the price of these items were. The hoodie was three hundred and seventy euro, and the trek pants were three hundred and twenty euro. I do believe the recommended retail for the hoodie and the trek pants. Were around seven hundred euro, so it's definitely a fifty percent or so saving. So, friend, friends, the second item that I bought from La Vallée may be one that you'll think to yourself, "Why did she get that? It's so weird." It's a pair of sunglasses from Celine. Mike actually says these sunglasses look like ski goggles, but to each his own. These are the beautiful Celine glasses that I purchased. They have blue tinted lenses and have a clear thick frame all around. I already own two pairs of Celine sunglasses, and they seem to really suit my face. And they are definitely great quality. These are what they look like. <laughs> I love them. I think they really stand out, and I think they could really elevate your look if you wanted them to. So, friend, friends, the Celine Sunnies were 160 euro without the extra tax back of 12 percent. So, next up at La Vallée, I bought another pair of sunglasses. These are the Bottega Veneta sunglasses in what I would say is a sporty shape with a baby pink frame. Oh, these are so cool. I really like them. Now I was hoping to get sportier sunglasses like these. I was very lucky enough to find these on sale at the outlet mall. So these were only a hundred and twenty-nine euro without the tax refund. I had to get them. I mean, they were so cheap and they're so cool. I'm really looking to see if I can get a matching baby pink top or even baby pink sneakers. Okay, friend, friends. So after we left the La Vallée outlet area, we came to Paris and we went shopping on my birthday. And here's what I bought from Balenciaga on my birthday. I bought a couple of things from Balenciaga, but the first thing I bought were these pair of 
baggy black tailored pants. So friend friends, these are the pants that I got from Balenciaga. I know you can't really see what they look like on this hanger. They are sort of like a drop crotch baggy pant. I had my eye on these now for months, but I needed to go to a store to make sure I got the right size. And these are actually a little bit bigger for me. And that's on purpose because I did want them to sit slightly lower at the waist. I really love these pants so much. So I don't know if any of you guys would be like me, why would you spend money on this next item? But I really wanted it from such a long time ago and it was my birthday, so I thought, what the hell, let's just do it. The second item I got from Balenciaga is actually a pair of boxer shorts. <laughs> I think I'm trying to just relive my childhood through the Y2K 90s vibe. So I got a pair of boxer shorts that say Balenciaga. And I thought this will be kind of cool if I wore baggy jeans or baggy pants. And then you could see the boxer shorts just at the waist of the jean. So here's some prices for you. My Balenciaga pants were 950 euro and the boxer shorts were 195 euro. So friend friends, the last item I will show you is something I was actually so happy to get. It's actually from a brand called The Frankie Shop which I believe only have stores in New York and Paris. I've been eyeing Frankie Shop suits, shirts and pants now, I would say for over a year. And for me, it's just a bit challenging to buy pants online because I am sort of in between sizes. So I thought, man, this is my opportunity. I'm in Paris, I'm going to the Frankie Shop store and I'm gonna definitely buy something, which I did. I got the Frankie Shop baggy tailored pinstripe pants in like this cobalt blue it's definitely not a navy it's more bright blue and i got the matching shirt which is super oversized and just oh delicious i'll put some pictures of me wearing this suit for you just so you have an idea what it looks like on me i'm so glad I got something from the Frankie shop. I will be definitely buying more from that brand. This is obviously not sponsored. I've just found such a love for their pieces. They are good quality pieces and they just ooze that cool girl style. So for the Frankie shop pair of pants, they were 198 euro. And for the shirt, it was 189 euro. As I said in the start of the video, I wanted to chat about the VAT refund process and how I went about shopping in Paris. So these here are the envelopes that I received at each purchase. What you get in the envelope is usually your receipt, but also sort of a printed out sheet with a barcode, which you can scan at the airport. So at the counter when purchasing, I asked the cashier if I could please have VAT refund and they knew exactly what I was talking about. Most of them actually required the original passport. So just remember that because most people carry copies of their passport, but I was asked particularly by the Frankie shop to provide the original passport. Once you gave them the passport, they'll ask you if you want your refund back in cash or on your credit card. Now I was told if you're wanting it back in cash that it will take quite a long time at the airport. So just for convenience sake, I always asked for the refund to be put back on the credit card. So friend friends, I'll see you at the airport to complete this process. So guys, we're currently here at the tax refund area. Super simple, near the arrivals part of the terminal. And we're going to go to these machines to get our tax back. And if it's green, it's good to go. So friend, friends, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please remember to hit like and subscribe.